Okay, so adding constraints to or modifying constraints on your bridge rail. Uh, I will show you here. So this blue is my bridge rail. See that it is right at the end of the deck. So what I'm showing here is that that template is drawn as flat. And if I I'm just showing this because I'm not sure if I covered it in the last video. So to add constraints, I'm going to go to variable constraint. I'm going to try and get through both of them as quick as possible. This side of the deck is at minus 3% grade. And I will apply that and you'll be able to see that snap right down flat with the deck. So the other one I want to apply is the the template is a 42 inch to 32 inch. I, I'm, it's developed so that you can transition it. And so I'm going to add a point here where it is the 10 inch geometry sitting on top of 32 inch trail is zero, 50 feet, and then add another zero to 50. And I am going to jack this up to uh, three feet. Do that for. 30 feet, and I'm just going to leave it like that for sake of time, just so you can see this this transition and how it looks in the in the 3D model. I'll be at the other end of the bridge, so once it completes here, I just want to show you that this is the problem that we found developing the template is that. If I look at the template, so my my variable is this distance right here, from zero to 10 inches, or I can make it whatever I like. However, when this, when I reduce this to zero inches, and then try to transition it, it doesn't know what to do with this chamfer or this one. So the workaround that we figured out for this was essentially just to add a quarter of an inch to the, instead of having it equal zero, give it a quarter of an inch, and then you will see the then it does okay. Uh, it's able to transition that chamfer into something because it actually starts with something. So that's how the, the bridge rail is the 42 inch. You can transition it from a 32 inch to a 42 inch. Of course, I made mine three foot taller, but just so it can be viewed. But Railroad right away to railroad right away and transition the 42 inch rail from a 32 and a quarter inch rail on up into a 42 inch rail. So that was basically what I wanted to show on this was the cross slope in order to achieve your 32 or 42 inch rail height based on this point right out here. You can set that line equal to the cross slope of your bridge deck, which moved this up. And then all points up here are based off of where that where that point meets the deck. That's how the template was set up. Alright. Uh, move on to the next video here. Thank you very much.